Alright guys, what is up, and today I'm coming at you with a quick deck profile. Uh, this is going to be on my battery mid deck, but you can't really see it right now, but you'll probably see it in the thumbnail. Or, but basically what this video is going to be is just a quick deck profile on a really cheap fun deck I kind of threw together and had some pretty fun playing with. Uh, but also, this is just a quick mobile phone quality test to see how good the recording quality is on my phone, because I plan on going to uh, my first sneak peek at my locals uh, tomorrow for Breakers of Shadow. And if I can, I'll try and open some uh, packs for you guys, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, Battery Man, they're just a really, really affordable deck. Really, really fun to play and pretty easy to pick up and learn. Uh, just really awesome OTK deck. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the deck. Uh, starting off with the obligatory, or standard, uh, Battery Man lineup. Three 9 volts, Three Charger. Three Fuel Cell. And three microcell. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain what their effects are. Uh, nine volt. Whenever he's summoned, normal or special, uh, you can add, you can add a battery man from your deck to your hand. So it's like every other battery, battery man player will say he's basically the Stratus of the deck, and then becomes uh, two thousand attack and defense, and then he gets destroyed during your end phase. And there's ways you can kind of play around with that. Uh, Charger. Whenever he's normal summoned, you can special on another battery man from your deck, except for another copy of himself, and he gains three hundred for each battery man on the field. So, including himself, he's already 2100, which is pretty great. Uh, in the 3 Fuel Cell, uh, what he does is, he, if you control two more battery men, you can special summon him from the hand. So, if you have two of these in hand and already one of the each of these on the field, you can just special summon the other two copies. And then you contribute a Thunder Monster and bounce a card your opponent controls back to the hand, which that kind of helps make helps make your OTK a lot safer. Uh, the next Micro Cell, whenever he's flipped, uh, you special summon a level 4 level battery man monster from your deck, which ideally would be 9 volt. And then after he's flipped face up, if he gets destroyed by battle, you get to draw a card. So if your opponent attacks into him, then you get to special summon a battery man, and you get to draw a card, which is pretty great. Uh, so the basic OTK is if you have a micro cell in hand, or micro cell cell on the field, you flip, special summon your battery man from the deck, you summon 9 volt, and then 9 volts effect activates. And then depending on which one you don't have, you can add charger or fuel cell. Ideally, you want to add Charger, and then if this dies, you can draw a card, which is pretty good. Uh, but then if it's during your opponent's turn and 9-volt doesn't die, then you're set up for next turn. Because then you Tribute Summon it, and then its effect activates, you summon another 9-volt from your deck, the 9-volt's effect triggers, and you add Battery Man to your hand. And then you add a Fuel Cell, and then you Special Summon the Fuel Cell, and then this gains 900 attack. And then if your opponent has stuff on the field, then you can Tribute the 9-volt and just slowly push for damage, but... If you play your back row right, then it's a lot safer just to push for these three monsters or whatever else. And that's the basic Battery Man lineup. Let's see, try and get all this fixed and sorted. Uh, the next, uh, some people play them, but some people don't, but I like them, is one copy of Industrial Strength. He's basically a BLS for Battery Man. Uh, where you can special summon him, or the only way you can summon him is by banishing two Thunder Monsters from your graveyard, which is basically your Battery Man. And then you can banish the Thunder Monster from your graveyard to destroy a monster and a Speller Trap on the field. So if you have your Battery Man set up in the graveyard, you can drop this guy and basically get the OTK and clear it off. And if your opponent's sealed, that could potentially hurt your OTK. So, he's pretty great. Some people don't play him just because sometimes you don't pull him off, but every time I've drawn into him, I've been able to get it off. And since they're all light monsters, uh, two copies of Honest. Now, this card's kind of controversial in this deck. Uh, because it's one of those win more cards, basically. Just because if your opponent does have a monster on the field, whenever you have all your battery man set up, then you can just drop this and do more damage. But in most cases, or in some cases, I've actually had this guy and no battery man to actually use him with. So I've had to set him in defense. And he has 1900, which is okay. So if your opponent crashes into him and he stays on the field... And you get a battery man later, you can just use his effect to bounce him back, and then use him with your battery man to do more damage. Uh, but in some cases, I want to swap this out for Battle Fader, just because I do sometimes have trouble keeping monsters on the field. Uh, and the Battle Fader also helps set up for Charger, because you have a monster set up on the field to then tribute for it. So, I may swap that out for Battle Faders later on, but for now, it's worked out fine. And then a personal attack of mine, two Fire Hand, and two Ice Hand, just for rank 4 plays, and just spot removal to kind of help ensure your opponent has little to no cards on the field to stop your pushes. And that wraps it up for the monsters. Moving on to the spells. Two battery charger. 
see if I can fix this glare. It's bugging me a little bit. Uh, but Battery Charger is pretty much just a monster reborn for Battery Man. You pay 500 and special summon one from the graveyard. It's pretty straightforward. So if you have your graveyard, uh, if you have some guys in your graveyard you want to bring back, which ideally would be 9 volt or in some cases Micro Cell, but in most cases you want it to be 9 volt, you can just bring them back and use them as tribute fodder and also get their effect off. Uh, the one short circuit, another card some people play, some people don't. Um, I like it just because it's a nice blowout card to have whenever you can pull it off. Or if you have three or more battery man monsters, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls, which is really, really easy to have set up. It's just playing multiple copies of it uh, would kind of become a dead card because you don't always have your three battery man set up, but it's nice to have this just in case. Uh, so the guys you usually have on the field are your 9 volt charger and fuel cell, and then you can just drop this and then clear their field and easily push for a ton of damage. And then two Monarch Storm Forth, distribute your opponent's monsters for charger plays. Two Pot of Duality, just kind of set up for the OTK, draw into those combo pieces you need. Three Mystical Space Typhoon, because back row messes up this deck. All your different mirror force variations that are out. Uh, mirror, regular Mirror Force, Storming Mirror Force, Blazing Mirror Force, and now Quaking Mirror Force. Uh, you just kind of don't want to deal with those. Uh, one Dark Hole. This would be a Regek if I had an extra one, but I don't. This is kind of basically to do the same thing Regek does. Clear your field. Uh, or rather, clear your opponent's field. Just to uh, make sure they don't have any monsters so you can go for even more damage. And then lastly, one Instant Fusion because we can do some cool combos with this. And then lastly, we have the traps. Uh, one trap stun, just because, like I did, I have said multiple times, this is an OTK deck, and you kind of want to make sure your opponent doesn't have any battle traps that can stop you. Uh, same reasoning with two wiretap. Two call of Han, this can be both offensive and defensive. Um, ideally, you want this for 9 volt. Because if you, your opponent's going to attack you directly, and this is part of the reason why I'm not playing Battle Fader right now, is because this basically is a Battle Fader in a way. Because if your opponent's going to attack you directly, you activate this, special summon your 9 volt, it gets, uh, it's a thousand attack and defense boost, and its effect goes off searching another battery man, and in most cases your opponent won't have a monster over 2k to kind of stop this. Sometimes they have an answer to it, but in some cases they don't, so this kind of helps out. And then 2 Fiendish Chain, stop monster effects, 1 warning, and 1 bottomless for just generic traps kind of keep your opponent's stuff off the field and then next moving on to the extra deck just some toolbox rank fours 101 castell dark rebellion oops sorry about the glare cowboy ragna zero diamond dire and black ship are all pretty self-explanatory and then for rank fives we have Volcasaurus, Shark Fortress, and Pleiades. Uh, Volcasaurus, he's the main one you go into. Pleiades is also another one you go into. Shark Fortress, it's very rare that you make them, but it's just nice to have it as an option. Uh, Volcasaurus is just to pop your opponent's monsters and basically be a ring of destruction. And he can't attack directly, but we play Guy Dragon, so you get around that really easy. Uh, Shark Fortress is just another one of those win more cards because you can just detach, pick a monster, and it can attack twice. And Pleiades just to bounce back those problematic cards. And then also to overlay into Gaia Dragon. And then one Photon Strike Bouncer and one Utopia Beyond for rank 6s. Uh, Utopia Beyond, I've only made them once, but again, it's just another one of those cards that's nice to have as an option. Just make all of your opponent's monsters attack become zero, so basically do more damage. Photon Strike Bouncer, he's the guy you want to go to during main phase 2 if you have two fuel cells on the field. Uh, you just overlay into him, and if your opponent tries to activate a monster effect, you detach and burn him for a thousand, and basically be a cowboy to burn him for the last bit of damage. And then one Gaia Dragon, because you see all the rank 5s and 6s I play. Why not overland a Gaia Dragon? Because if they try to build a wall, you can just summon this and get piercing. And if not, just attack directly with 26, which is a pretty big number. And then for our two instant fusion targets, one Norden. Uh, ideally, you don't want to use his effect to bring back 9 volt. Unless you absolutely have to, because you want to get 9 volts effect off as many times as you can to search out all your battery men to go for as much damage as you can. Uh, most times I use him to bring back either Honest or one of my hands to make a rank 4 play. And one Panzer Dragon, just again another rank 5 play. 
And also, if you don't have anything else, you can just summon him, let him die at the end of the turn due to instant fusion's effect. And then you can just pop a card in the field. So, he just kind of works out both ways. And yeah, that's basically it for the Batterman deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, also, let me know what you think of the quality. I'm going to bring my phone with me to record some openings at Sneak Peek. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys later.